Hey, well, it's good to be back. I think I'm back. Jet lag is still with me, of course. That happens. You know, we're only about 11 time zone difference between here and Uganda. But uh, hey, the trip was, well, you know, it was really painful, <laughs> but good. Um, for those that hadn't heard, I mean, I, I was supposed to leave out on a Tuesday night or Tuesday afternoon. Uh, heading up from Atlanta to Washington, D.C., and then going on from there to uh, Entebbe, Uganda, uh, in Kampala area. Anyway, got to the airport, visa, I was told, was all taken care of. It wasn't taken care of. So we started the process of applying for a visa, but realized it would take at least a couple of days before we got it, so I got a one-way ticket back home. Uh, not terribly cheap, but anyway, with uh, Joan, flew back with Joan, and so then the Sunday night finally was able to get a flight and tickets and all of that taken care of, and we flew out. So I went from San Diego then to D.C., D.C. to Addis Ababa uh, in Ethiopia on Ethiopian Airlines, and from there to Entebbe and, and connected with Toby Tyler and with the Victory World Outreach team and uh, where we have a, a affiliated vision, affiliated Bible school, and doing church planting, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Anyway, so we had a wonderful time once we got there of ministry. Although got there, got on the ground, got maybe six hours sleep, then did a ten-hour drive out to the place where we were holding a conference and the graduation. So we, that was right near the Rwanda border. Got there, did that, came back, long drive back. Anyway, finally got, you know, took, met at some other pastors, uh, started a new Bible school in a large local church in Kampala, which was great. And uh, so I was getting ready to fly out, was all sitting just waiting, and they canceled the flight. And with no information, nothing, got us to a hotel. Fortunately, Joan was able to get me booked on the next night's flight and went back through, this time from Entebbe to uh, Brussels, Brussels to Washington, D.C., Washington, D.C., home only 27 hours. And uh, anyway, so I'm back home and I'm glad for that. But, you know, that's part of what we do. We're all about taking the whole word to the whole world. You know, while I was there, I got to meet with uh, oh, a bunch of different people, and most of which wanted me to adopt them, uh, you know, fund their children and all that. And I understand that. I really do understand. They're, they're hurting. I w met with one bishop from, from Rwanda. I've known him for several years now, and he's very closely connected with Dr. Phil Tudor in Safford, Arizona. Anyway, uh, Bishop Patrick, you know, in our updated newsletter that uh, hopefully most of you get, and thank you letter for those that give, um, you're going to see a little bit about Patrick and about his ministry. And I would love it if we could financially support more and more groups like them. The problem for us is simply this. God's called us into a kind of a narrow niche market, if you would, that is to do education and training for the nations. We've written curriculum, developed systems to, you know, networked around the world with this very specific focus on taking the whole word to the whole world, raising up leaders in the 21st century. And thus, it's really not, and, you know, so I'm trying to work on my, you know, neuroses, my guilt, uh, to, it's not really our responsibility to fund, but it is somewhat our responsibility to introduce you to opportunities where you could be a great blessing uh, to the nations of the world. And so we want to continue to do that, continue to share different opportunities. You know, while I was on my way back, we were, our team from Ukraine were meeting in Washington, D.C. with the head of the, the army there and with the uh, chaplains folks, and we're working still diligently on developing that chaplaincy program uh, for the Ukrainian army. I mean, God's opening up doors worldwide. We're, we're hoping to to do the pastor's leaders conference we had to cancel because of Pastor Earl's accident. But still we're looking at doing that sometime, maybe August, September. We've got Korea coming up. We have also opportunity for South Africa. Anyway, keep us in prayer. Let's pray for each other. God's opening new doors all over the world. 
But we have to stay focused on what we're called to be and to do, which is, again, teaching, training, equipping God's people. That's our primary responsibility. And really what we want to do is steward that responsibility for the glory of God. Hey, thanks, blessings. We'll talk to you next week.